Now, have you ever wanted to learn how to snorkel or scuba dive? Maybe you've never even learned how to swim. Many people don't get that opportunity. So there's a nonprofit called Sea Scope Incorporated. It aims to change that by increasing diversity in aquatics and even science. And joining me this morning, Allison Fisher, the founder and CEO of Sea Scope, who's also a dive master. Good to see you. Thank you. It was a Daniel. couple of weeks ago that I saw you at adult recess at the uh, Boys and Girls Club, and we were talking about this. And I'm like, we have to have you on the show to talk about this because this is important. Not a lot of people know how to swim. Exactly. Um, actually, over 70% of African Americans don't know how to swim. And um, I've been trying to basically promote more aquatics activities, careers in aquatics, also uh, careers in science as well amongst the minority or underrepresented minority population here in Indianapolis. That is fantastic. What type of programs does C-Scope offer? Tell me a little more about that. So yes, we have a Discoverers program um, starting with the science and ocean literacy principles in the classroom setting and some field experiences. And then we have a surface to seas program where we're getting more kids um, interested in aquatics starting with snorkeling and teaching them water safety to okay. decrease drowning rates. Yeah. And then the Discoverers program is to create these little underwater explorers, citizen scientists, to go out into the ocean to help us save our planet. You have quite a few, like at least 100, right? I have at least 100 kids. I think it's about 107 kids that have registered for programs with that some local That is fascinating. Partners. That is fascinating mm -hmm. as we take a look at some video here. Mm -hmm. You focus on reducing the racial and ethnic disparities in aquatics. Why is this so important? Um, well, t traditionally, African Americans haven't had access to pools. Or it's their, expensive. It is, and then right now, swimming lessons run very, very expensive. So I've been partnering with organizations to help decrease drowning rates and also the disparities amongst African Americans with drowning. So hopefully this summer we are going to have a six-week curriculum to help young people swim for the summer with Indy Parks and Recreation and the Boys and Girls Club. I think that is fantastic. And when you get to this level, when you start using this kind of stuff, you got to know how to swim. Oh, and this is a whole nother <laughs> level, but you don't have to know how to be a strong swimmer. Okay, that's good to know. Yes, with scuba diving, you're actually trying to find your natural buoyancy, which is just not floating or sinking, just like a fish. Right. You become like a fish. Your goal is to also level the playing field when it comes to science, too. And you brought a few things up here. I think this is a, is, tell me what this is. I. This is actually a piece of Coral. And coral. the reason that That's it's right. white is it's actually dead. So because of pollution and global warming, we're killing our coral. And the planet is over 70% ocean. We really need to think about these things because we rely on the ocean and coral reefs to sustain us as human beings for food, for medicine. Everything starts with the food chain on the coral reef level or that ocean level. You're absolutely right about that, Allison. If there are folks who are out there watching right now and they want to get their kids signed up, how can they get in touch with you? I want you guys to contact Indy Parks and Recreation in a few weeks to find out when our swim and aquatics program will begin. We're thinking middle of June and running through July. Also the Boys and Girls Club, we should have a schedule panned out probably in the next few weeks as well. And then you can check out the website at www.cscopefun.org. I think this is fascinating because, you know, with the summer upon us, why not go out in the water and enjoy it? You gotta, you gotta respect the water. Exactly, and stay safe. It's Absolutely. actually International Water Safety Day, May 15th. Okay. We wanna keep our kids safe. Allison Fisher, the CEO of C Scope Incorporated, thank you so much for coming on this morning. To learn more about C Scope Incorporated, just head over to fox59.com slash links. And Jim, with the nice tips you are forecasting today, I think I should go to Ange's house and jump in her pool. <laughs>